Okay, welcome to part three of this video in which we're analyzing the forces on the boom of a crane and in particular we're doing a, a static equilibrium analysis. Uh, the first thing I need to do is uh, make sure that it's clear that some of the numbers that I had computed in part two were wrong. Um, I don't, I'm assuming I typed something into uh, Wolfram Alpha incorrectly. So I've corrected them here and uh, I also corrected them in the video using annotations. Okay, so this is where we were with again all the corrections. So if we go back to what we need to do, we still need to find the sum of the forces in the y direction, set that equal to zero. That will give us the y component of F sub A and when we're done with that we'll have the force exerted by the hydraulic cylinder as well as the reaction force and uh, we can claim victory. So let's do that. Uh, the last or the the next set of equations will be uh, summing the forces in the y direction. So we have then minus F a y and again this is negative because I've drawn the arrow pointing down and we're summing forces in the positive y direction. Then we have the force due to the hydraulic cylinder, its vertical component which is F b sine 23 degrees and then we'll have the force due to the weight of the boom itself and the force due to the load and this is all equal to zero and I won't uh, take the time to type it in but uh, you can solve this and get that um, F A Y is equal to 818.5 pounds. Okay, so we basically have solved everything. If we go back to our free body diagram and actually uh, draw in what we have, we have this force, F of A, has um, a downward component in the y direction of 18 point five pounds and in the x direction I'm sorry eight uh, eight hundred and eighteen point five pounds in the x direction it has an x component of uh, minus four thousand three hundred and twenty five pounds so what this really means is that we drew the arrow in the wrong direction uh, so we have the y component looking like this we actually have the X component going like this and this then is the reaction force FA where again this is that value and the magnitude of this guy is here. If you want to um, find out what the magnitude of the total force is, the magnitude of FA, uh, you can uh, convert from a rectangular to a polar representation to get that the magnitude of FA is 4,402 pounds and that this angle that it makes with respect to our x-axis is um, 21 degrees. Okay, so that basically finishes this analysis. Um, we've gone through and uh, found uh, uh, the direction and magnitude of components. Uh, we chose our X and Y uh, axes uh, very carefully to make some of the computations easier. Uh, but we've had to use quite a bit of trigonometry. We've had to draw quite a few triangles to make sure that we understand what direction the forces are, what their components are, and so on. 
there will be a part four of this video, for those of you that um, are not exhausted yet, in which we redo this problem using the standard horizontal x and y um, axes, something like this. And we'll redo it using vectors to show just how, um, how simple, in some ways, vectors can make things. Uh, but you have to think it through fairly carefully. So hopefully you found this useful, and thanks for watching.